Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we were rolling our cameras when this happened all about 15 minutes ago, right at the end of the Reds game. Of course, you know, they had the Friday night fireworks going, and the reason why it looks so hazy, as you can see here, lots of flakes of snow flying by. I've seen a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen fireworks actually going off while it's snowing, especially at this intensity. It was coming down fairly steady and heavy there for about 10, 15 minutes as they were ending the fireworks show down there right at the end of the Reds game. So indeed, an impressive shot, I guess, if you were out there at the game early. Earlier this evening, you were treated to two very nice surprises this evening. A little snow and the fireworks there at the end. As you can see now, things have certainly quieted down. The snow has ended downtown. There may be more flurries and snow showers for some of you as we go through the night. It's 34 degrees right now at the airport. We've got a west wind at 17. As that snow squall came through, we had wind gusts close to 30. So those will be common as we go through the night tonight. We'll have rounds of flurries and snow showers pushing across the area. Occasionally, those winds will gust up to about 30 miles an hour at times, but boy, very chilly here for this April 8th night. Most areas now down into the mid 30s. Matter of fact, Florence now down to freezing. It's now down to freezing in Batesville as well. So as those flurries and snow showers take over, temperatures are dropping. Here's that burst of snow that moved through downtown Cincinnati there. We captured on the tower cam shot. You can see currently we're kind of in a dry slot, but there's a little more flurry and snow shower activity as you head up towards Chevy and Infinitown over towards Wyoming and then on up towards Fairfield and Hamilton even over around Mason. As you see behind me here, the heaviest snows, though, have moved over the 275 loop into Claremont County, Milford, Mount Repos, heading over towards Batavia. And then as you drop south into areas down around Felicity, for example, over towards Butler and Falmouth, and you see a little bit of green mixing in because temperatures are teetering near the freezing mark, so the radar wants to paint it as rain. But for the most part, it's all gone over to snow now. We've still got flurries and snow showers. Lebanon, Mason, Middletown over towards Hamilton. And this will kind of come and go as we go throughout the night tonight. The other story, the cold breeze out there tonight. Winds are sustained between 10 and 20 miles an hour, and if you look upstream, those winds are even stronger. They're sustained 20 to 30, and I believe our winds will pick up again overnight tonight. You can see we're gusting in excess of 20 now, but gusts close to 30, close to 40 in Chicago, and I think again, as that cold air really begins to move into the area tonight, our winds will continue to increase. It's going to feel more like late January, early February. Look at our wind chills. We're down to 23 here in Cincinnati. It feels like it's 22 in Indianapolis. So by morning, wind chills will likely be in the upper teens to around 20 degrees. So flurries and snow showers continue overnight tonight. When you wake up first thing in the morning, there still may be a lingering flurry or two. We'll start with cloudy skies, kind of a gloomy start to your Saturday, but we'll gradually break out into some sun during the afternoon hours. It won't do much for our cold temperatures, though. And then tomorrow night, we're likely to see a hard freeze as we drop into the low to mid 20s for lows underneath mostly clear skies, and then we'll start to cloud up. Sunday's going to be our transition day where we'll start on the sunny side. We'll see clouds increasing throughout the day. It will start cold in the morning in the 20s, but we'll climb up close to 60, at least the mid 50s by afternoon. It looks dry during the day on Sunday, but by Sunday night, Look at this. We've got rain moving in across the area, and this wet weather will likely take us on into Monday as well. So kind of a wintry night. You don't talk about snow showers in the forecast in April too often. 29 degrees for a low with those cold winds continuing. And then tomorrow, expect some clouds, cold breezes. Most of the day will be in the 30s. We'll sneak into the low 40s with a little sun late in the afternoon. So 29 at 8 a.m., 37 by lunchtime, and then into the low 40s tomorrow during the afternoon hours. Here's your seven-day forecast down to 26 tomorrow night. So we're talking about a 30-degree jump in temperatures between Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. And then we'll see some rain in here Sunday night, and you can see rain as we start the week. And then early next week, we'll start on the cool side, but we'll get into some sunshine and gradually warm those temperatures up. But, you know, for the farmers across the area, we talked a little bit about this. Uh, the nights will continue to be a problem even into next week with those overnight lows still cold in the 30s. If it was March 8th, people would be complaining about snow, <laughs> let alone <laughs> At least April. We would be. Yeah. Yeah.